guys this is tarot with kittens weights and tarot and today i'm just doing a walkthrough of a spread that i created uh last week called what if the what if spread um and i tried this out with my uh live chat crew what up homies <laughs> this past saturday and uh, everybody seemed to enjoy it and so i promised that i would do a formal walkthrough so here it is, my formal walkthrough. So um, I'm not actually going to be uh, reading these cards, but I want to let you know what the positions are. And you can definitely check out um, my last uh, Saturday live chat um, where I did do a reading for myself. Plus I was asking everybody else kind of like what they were getting in all the different positions, but I'll go through each of the different spread positions uh, for you or with you um, and uh, also let you know kind of like what I use this spread for. So if you're using the deck or if you're wondering what deck it is that I have on this spread cloth, this is called the I Love Unicorns Playing Cards. So I do love to use uh, playing cards with my um, uh, my readings as well. I like to use the numerology, RWS meanings, um, Kind of the feel I just get from the card. So yeah, I, I love this deck. It's very magical. <laughs> All right. So what if, so what that means is, you know, we, we often have those what ifs, you know, what if I would have taken this job at this time? What if I would have moved out of my folks home, you know, uh, when I was 19 instead of when I was 21, or maybe if I would have moved out when I was 18, or what if I would have gone to college? What if I didn't go to college? What if I would have majored in this or taken this route? What if I would have, um, gone into, uh, you know, being a roadie for a while, <laughs> you know, what if I wanted to be in a freaking rock and roll band, you know, we have all these what ifs. Um, and oftentimes I think that we, um, over, uh, glamorize or, um, make things better, you know, in our minds because we don't know, we haven't been down that road. And so we, you know, we kind of look at our day to day and say, oh man, if I would have just been in a freaking rock and roll band, oh man, my life would be so fun right now. I'd be having all kinds of, wow, you know, wild parties. I'd be touring the country. I'd be meeting all these homies, you know, I'd be making great music. Um, but we haven't gone down that route. So we don't really know, but what if you had a what if spread? What if you had a what if spread? <laughs> So that is why I created this spread because I have, you know, what ifs just like everybody else, you know, what if um, I would have stayed as a fashion design major instead of going into English education? What if uh, I would have stayed uh, continuing on into USA track and field instead of um, stopping when uh, my NCAA career ended? You know, what, what if, what if? Um, okay, so I have this kind of spread out. I don't, maybe it looks like a dragonfly to you guys. I don't know. The, the shape probably doesn't matter. It's the questions that I think that are more important. But um, if you care to put things into a shape, here we go. So we're going to start off with uh, this first card up all the way at the top, which I guess would be like the dragonfly's head. Um, and that card would represent the what if, the choice, the path that was, uh, has not been taken. Um, so you can consciously choose this card or cards. Uh, you can make it an oracle card or a tarot card or both, um, whatever you want to do. And, uh, or you could have, you know, do a shuffle and it's like whatever card pops out, that is the card that represents the, um, the path that wasn't taken or the choice that wasn't taken. Okay. Card number two, which I have over here is part of the dragonfly's wing is where would I be living right now? You know, because of that butterfly effect, that dragonfly effect, uh, you know, that, uh, that changes a lot of things. All of, we make thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of decisions every day. Um, and they have a ripple effect. They really do. And they end up making big changes. So where would you be living right now? Number three, uh, how would my finances look? You know, would you be pretty stable? Would you be unstable? Um, number four, my circle of friends. So would you have your current circle of friends? Would you still be with the people that you grew up with? Would you have a, a, a new circle of friends? Feel free to pull as many cards as you want for each of these questions, because I do realize these are big questions. So probably one card isn't going to do you, but for the sake of just walking you through this, I'm just using one card. Okay. Uh, number five, which is over here. Um, what would the effect of this choice, this path, have on my mind, body, and spirit. So for this one, you probably obviously want to pull three cards 
or more, again, depending on you. Number six, my obstacles or struggles. Okay, so as you go down this path, this choice, what are some obstacles and or struggles that you encounter? Um, number seven, which is right here, um, what are some opportunities that are gained? You know, because you've taken this choice, because you've taken this path, what are the opportunities that are gained? And of course, what are the opportunities that are missed because of taking this path or choice? You know, every, everything offers opportunities and also uh, a lack of opportunities. Um, and then number nine, which is over here, our second to last card, um, your successes. So success or successes, because you went down this path, what is a success or successes uh, that you gained because of it? And your very last card, what are the lessons or lesson learned by taking this path? Because remember, every choice has a, has a lesson, has a ripple effect to it. All right, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Let me know uh, what your choices were, or maybe um, if you're a little self-conscious about like what came through in the answers and you would rather message me privately, you can email me tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. I respond to everybody. So, you know, if you want to have a little conversation, uh, that'd be great too. Let me know. I'm always curious, you know, how my spreads work out with other people, you know, because I, I use them for myself, but it's so interesting to see how they, they work with others. So I hope that you found this helpful. Um, Again, I'm definitely curious, so post in the comments below like what stood out to you, what was interesting to you, um, if the grass really was greener on the other side. <laughs> um, or, you know, or again, if you're a little more self-conscious and you don't want the whole world reading your comments, you can always email me. All right, so that's it for me, Spiritual Homies. If you dug this video, if you dug this spread, uh, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. And if you want to send a little hot cocoa money or maybe some tea money my way, <laughs> think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot. And that's it for me, spiritual homies and my unicorns. <laughs> Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.